Rams fighting out of the red corner from Siam MMA. Put your hands together for Ross Gallagher. And his opponent across the cage fighting out of Ministry of Martial Arts. Give it up for Judah Alexandru. Once again, ladies and gents, this is a lightweight K1 contest over three two-minute rounds. Knees to the body, one hand behind the head, many knees over to the body, since I have got the bear, or back of that neck, one knee, and you break the clinch. In case I'm not down, you go to a neutral corner, and I'll pick up the count. Any questions, Mark? Any questions? Let's go to our And here we go, Ross Gallagher from Siam in the red corner versus Chuxat Axandru from Ministry in the blue corner. And straight away, Ross opening with a couple of nice teeps and leg kicks, being quite the aggressor here. Yeah, Ross looking strong, but needs to be careful. He's dropping his hands an awful lot when he moves into those leg kicks. He certainly is, but uh, he managed to cover up there. And, oh, a bit of an infringement now, I don't know what happened, but the referee's going to carry on. Chulak looking strong and composed in that combination, Tomek. Really, really tight and really, really strong. It is. Definitely have to agree, but Ross answering back. Ross coming back. Just needs to clean up his hands for me. They're, they are all over the place at the moment. Needs to settle. He certainly does. I think both guys opening quite strong here, but uh, so far, Chilyac, if that's how you pronounce his name, I apologise if I just murdered it. I believe it. I believe that is right, Tomek. I believe it is Kulach or something, something along those lines. Well, he's definitely more, ex more composed here, and uh, Ross backing off, needs to be careful. These two certainly going for it here, these are the light lightweights, ladies and gentlemen, and it's looking like a big, big hitting contest here in round number one, with Chulach really starting to push the pace, although Ross coming back with a nice front push kick. Yeah, these guys, they're both going backwards and forwards, neither man is willing to accept uh, submission from the other here, but Ross really needs to be careful in these exchanges when he's covering up. I think he's, he's, he looks like he's a little bit hurt, and that leg kick just definitely hurt Ross Gallagher there. Yeah, Chulak got a lot, has got a lot of power there. He really has oh, started oh to throw that spinning back kick with my confidence. Goodness. Yeah, the uh, the Ministry fighter showing uh, quite a composed and experienced uh, facade, I'd say. And I don't oh know about you, Tommy, but I think Ross Gallagher's almost given up the ghost a little bit here in round number one. He is really dropping off. Yeah, I think it's a couple of those are strong shots have landed, and uh, they possibly could have hurt the uh, Siam fighter. A good first round for both men. For me, definitely going the way of Chulak Alexandru from Ministry of MMA. Here we go, second round in our K White bout. And let's see if uh, Chiliac carries on with his uh, quite cerebral, intelligent game plan. But Ross being quite aggressive there, doing well. This is what he needs to do if he wants this. Yeah, Ross Beautiful. Gallagher coming back really aggressive here in round number two, which is a good thing for him. Sitting back in round number one and inviting Chulach Alexandru onto him was not a good plan. I definitely have to agree. But I don't know if, if Ross, I think Ross needs to be a little bit more composed here. These shots he's throwing, oh dear. These shots are throwing at 100%, and Chilach caught him with a really nice leg kick there, and that definitely hurt Ross. Oh, he is hurt. You're See right. See the way he's turning out of that, out away from that leg kick, and that body shot hurt him as well. This could be it for Ross. He's in trouble here. Yeah. Chilach is just opening up on him. That leg kick is chipping away, Tomek. It's just doing the damage again and again and again. And you're right, the way that Gallagher's turning away from that kick, out of the momentum of it, it's just showing how much it's hurting him. And yeah, if Kulac is wise, he'll go after that spot. Yeah, I think he definitely will. He's a, he seems like a very intelligent fighter. He can definitely smell blood. But he has to be careful. Ross is by no means out of this fight. He's still managed to cover up and he's still dangerous. He just has to get off that cage. And Again, that leg kick. Yeah, stop eating those leg kicks. He's got to try to check a few of those. It is a worry when um, when fighters aren't checking leg kicks. I mean, just from a complete style point of view and a safety point of view, if they're eating this many leg kicks, it's not good for their overall health, is it? No, definitely not. And uh, yeah, Ross looking very tired there. 
and oh my goodness, another leg kick, lads. You can see, see on Ross's face, he is all over the place here. The referee is having a really close look, but Chayach being really methodical. He could have gone in for the kill there. Instead, he chose to back away and once again pick away his fighter. We're going to go into the third and final round here. Alex Andrew, like you say, very composed, not rushing anything here in this fight. He knows he's hurt Gallagher, he knows he's got this round. He's going to take it into the third and final with a lot of confidence. Third and final round here as we uh, just go and mop up a little bit of the mess in the ministry corner. They had a bit of a spillage. And back we go to the action. Julak is going to be full of confidence after round number one and round number two. You can already see that Ross Gallagher is favouring that right leg, does not look comfortable on his left. And Julak is most likely going to be taking a full advantage of that weakness here in round number three. Yeah, he certainly Ooh. is. And there he goes as you say that. Oh my goodness, a beautiful kick there, a little bit suspect from Ross Gallagher. You can yeah. tell the guy fights MMA. That that's, was... a, that's a Mai Tai takedown right there, Tom Hick, not legal in K1, not allowed to grab the leg and sweep. So Ross Gallagher just receiving a little bit of a warning, but Chulak seemingly unperturbed, comes right back to the action with, on that left leg of Gallagher. Oh, Yeah, I think, uh, oh my goodness, another shot landed there. I think... Uh, Gallagher really needs to pull something out the hat here and make it happen. He cannot be turning his back to his opponent like that and going up against the fence because he's just going to keep eating these leg kicks. That left leg is just caving in every time now. Every time Chulach decides to just bash that left leg, it caves in. Gallagher doesn't look comfortable. But here we go, swinging away. Gallagher's looking to finish this fight now. He knows he's behind on the judges' scorecard. It's the only way he's going to get anything out of this is to finish this fight. Oh, flying knee there from uh, Chilac, uh, that was, I don't know if that landed on the chin, but he, he needs to be careful with that. We've got to give it to Gallagher, he is, uh, he is tough as nails, isn't he? He's not giving an inch under the extreme pressure of Chulach. He certainly is, he's covering up here. You know, I've spoken to him before the fight, he said he's done a lot of training in his shed with his mates, uh, drinking Guinness. Perhaps should have cut the Guinness out. You know, it might have helped, helped his performance here. I think the only thing that Guinness is going to be good for is numbing the pain in that left leg. This poor man looks like he is just on a pain express. That left leg is caving in, ladies and gentlemen. How he can't he stand. The referee surely must be looking to stop this if it goes much further. That left leg can barely support the weight. What a fight. But it's definitely gone the way of Chulex Alexandri for me. Fighting out of the blue! 